acsportstips.com. We're breaking down the Boise State Michigan State game on Friday night, and all signs point to a Michigan State blowout. When you look at the Boise State Broncos over the last couple of years, they have had success against Georgia and Virginia Tech in these opening round games, but you must remember that both of those games were played on neutral field sites. They beat Virginia Tech in, in Washington, and they beat Georgia last year in Atlanta, technically a home game for Georgia. However, now they travel to Big Ten country into East Lansing with a brand new quarterback, and it's going to be a tough task to beat the Spartans at home to start the season. I, all, all the pressure falls on Boise State right now. They're a bit undersized on the offensive line and defensive line, and they need D.J. Harper, senior running back, filling in for Doug Martin to have a big game to take the pressure off of Joe Southwick, starting quarterback, filling in for Kellen Moore this year. I just think that Doug Peterson has had great success with less talent, but I think that this year this is going to be a tough task because of the offensive defensive lines of Michigan State. I, I think Will Goldston, all Big Ten uh, pick at defensive end will create havoc, and I just think that that defensive line will get pressure up front and put a lot of pressure on off um, Boise State's offense. They like to run misdirection. They like to run the spread where they spread out the defense, but if you get pressure up front between the center and guard, it's going to be a big problem for Boise State to contain. And I just think that they're way over their heads in this game. I just think that I look for Le'Veon Bell, starting running back. I think he's an excellent back, and I think that Mark D'Antonio is going to look to wear down Boise State with the running game. I mean, he does break in a new quarterback as well, but it's a lot easier to break in a starting quarterback at home than it is on the road. This is a nationally televised game. Everybody's expecting Boise State to be up. Nobody expects Boise State not to be prepared anymore after all the success they have had over the last couple of years. And I just think that Michigan State is going to be a contender, not just for the Big Ten title, but for the, for the national championship, if they get off onto a roll, I mean, they beat Georgia last year. They proved that they can beat an SEC team. And, you know, this could be one of the strongest teams in the Big Ten. I think they're solid. Um, if they do have a weakness, Michigan State, it's not in the defensive line or the linebackers. It's in the secondary. And that's where, you know, Boise State can, can get, you know, if they get into a high-scoring affair, Boise State has a shot. But if they start to get into that ball control team, type of offensive game where, you know, three yards in a cloud of dust, I just think that Michigan State is going to dominate because of their offensive defensive lines. Michigan State has to prove defensively that they can stop the big play. They got burned last year against Georgia by the big play, and they got burned against Wisconsin in that game in East Lansing and in the Big Ten Championship game. So the secondary has to step up, but I just think that they have too much talent on the offense and defensive lines. I look for a Michigan State blowout, 38-21.